Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Violeta and today I'll be talking to you about a beautiful Casa Batio in Barcelona, Spain. This famous building was designed by a well-known architect, Antoni Gaudí, who is also known for his other masterpieces, such as the Paragrel or the Sagrada Familia. When we first look at the Casa Batio, it might remind us of a skeleton. It looks like its balconies are made of skulls and the supporting pillars of bones. And exactly for this reason, the locals actually called this house Casa de los Osos, which means House of Bones in Catalan. While Antony Gaudí never actually shared his own interpretation of the design of this house, there are many theories um, of the symbolism of this house. Many say that the top of the facade reminds them of the dragon's back and the four-armed cross um, a dragon's sword. This has led to a popular association of this particular house with the legend of San Jordi or San George, the patron saint of Catalonia. Legend has it that Saint George killed a dragon with his sword to save people from this dangerous animal. It is said that local people fed one person a day to the dragon just for him to stay away from the city. Based on this interpretation, the roof of the house symbolizes the sword rooted in the dragon and the bone-shaped columns and the balconies commemorate the victims eaten by the dragon. Meanwhile, the top balcony, shaped like a flower, symbolizes the rose bush that grew from the dead dragon's blood. In fact, every year, on 23rd of April, Catalonia celebrates Dia de San Jordi with Casa Batio decorated in beautiful red roses. Casa Batio is located on the Passage de Gracia, which is now considered to be one of the most expensive streets in Barcelona and in Spain. It forms a part of a row of houses that are commonly known as La Manzana de la Discordia or the Disagreement Apple. And you might ask, why did citizens of Barcelona called such block of houses with such name? Well, let's have a look at the Greek mythology. At the wedding of Thetis and Peleus, all the gods were invited except for Eris, who was the god of disagreement. Very angry, she presented herself at the party and on the table full of gifts, she put a golden apple with the inscription Callisti, which means the most beautiful. So three goddesses, Hera, Athena and Aphrodite, all claimed the apple and tried to convince the prince of Troy that they were the most beautiful. Similarly, the citizens of Barcelona still cannot decide which of the three houses on this block is the most beautiful. Casa Leo y Morera, Casa Amatie, or Casa Batio. Around the time Gaudí was building Casa Batio, the Barcelona Council announced a competition for the best urban house. And while Casa Batio was nominated, it actually didn't win. Now, talking about the history of the building and how it was built, the original house actually had no remarkable features. It was then bought by a businessman, Joseph Batio, who was not particularly happy with the simple design of the house and wanted to redesign it to have something out of the box, so something captivating. While he himself wanted to demolish the house completely and build something new, Gaudí actually convinced him that renovation was all that the house needed at that time. Between 1904 and 1906, Gaudí transformed the house into what we know as Casa Batio to this day. While Joseph Batio gave Gaudí the artistical freedom to create, Gaudí didn't let him down. And Batio family actually lived in this house up until 1950s. Now, looking at the house, you might notice that there are hardly any straight lines on the facade of the building. And actually the same applies for the interior as well, according to Gaudí. Because there are no straight lines and right angles in nature, there shouldn't be any in human design either. So where one might expect to find straight lines in the design, Gaudi actually put curved lines instead. And while Gaudi never explained the symbols of his house, as I had said, everyone can interpret the house based on their own imagination. And many had said that the house reminds them of an aquatic 
landscape. As we enter the building at the communal hall, it actually reminds of the underwater environment. Skylights resemble turtle shells and the banister represent a backbone of a huge animal. On the first floor in the living room, there is a huge picture window and lean columns in the shape of bones. On the side, you can see huge oak doors with organic shapes, stained glass, wavy ceiling that reminds us of the strength of the sea. The original building that had been built before Gaudi redesigned it had no electrical power, so it made use of the natural light. So using this idea, Gaudi created the patio of lights that proportionally distributes the light that enters from the main skylight. Interestingly, the walls are coated in different ceramics with the shades going from the darkest blue on the top to the lightest blue at the bottom. This, as well as the windows of different sizes, ensures that the light enters evenly. Casa Batiro also has a small indoor garden, which almost feels like a beautiful oasis in the middle of the city. As we go up the stairs, we reach the loft, which had previously been used as a service area for the tenants, as the storage area or the laundry room. It features a series of 60 arches, which remind of a ribcage of an animal or a spine of a dragon. At the very top of the building, we find a terrace with four crooked chimney stacks. While the rooftops were often thought to be the ugliest part of the building, with smoke pipes and water tanks, Gaudi decided to be playful and designed colorful chimneys instead. All around the building, you might have noticed tiled mosaics or a technique called trekendis. Gaudi used this technique in many of his works, and in Catalan, it means broken or shattered. And this style of mosaics uses tile and chinaware cemented together. The color of the mosaic varied around the house, with blue and green possibly drawing inspiration from the sea. On the roof, we see pink and teal tones, which look like the fish scales. And on the roof, as we've just seen, you can find warmer tones of orange, red and yellow, together with some blue, again evoking the image of the dragon's back. No wonder Casa Batio is an important icon in Barcelona, forming a part of UNESCO World Heritage Site. Also, it's one of the most highly rated cultural and tourist attractions, attracting more than 1 million visitors every year. So, I really hope that you like this video about Casa Batio, that you learned something new, and as always, I'll see you in my next videos. Thank you, bye bye!